Closer to home, the Commonwealth Games got underway this weekend. You may have noticed the torchbearer for the opening ceremonies, Antoine Craig. Our own Brooke Leonard has more on his incredible determination to defy the odds. Imagine this. Your entire life you've had the ability to see. Then slowly, your vision diminishes until it's nothing. That was the reality for Paralympian Antoine Craig. I have a, a retinal disease called retinitis pigmentosa. It's something genetic where my my retinas don't produce a protein it needs to fuel itself, so they're just slowly dying. I lost the majority of my vision in 2010, so it's I got to experience driving and all of the good stuff, the independence and the freedom, and then it just all was just taken away. The loss of vision also impacted his mobility. You, like you lose your ability to walk, so you you have to start from scratch. Um, you have to get a cane and start to kind of, you know kind of go through the process of learning how to just navigate your environment differently than you did before. And after relearning to walk, he decided he could run. Started with a mile and I worked my way up and, and you know, ended up with different groups over the years and people teach me this and people teach me that. And then you kind of get to this point where you're, you're running really, really fast, tethered to another human being. Craig runs with a guide, connected by a short tether. Track and field normally is an individual sport, but in para, it's a team sport. So you're nothing without your guide. You guys are one team. So whatever they do, you do. And whatever you do, they do. The Paralympian has only been sprinting for four years and most recently placed second in the U.S. Paralympic trials in the 100 meter dash, making him an alternate for Tokyo. The trials was an amazing experience just to have um, just to have made it that far. It's just one of those things you're going to keep with you forever. Craig isn't done with reaching his goals yet. He wants to finish his master's in sports psychology and compete in the Olympics. Two things he's sure he can achieve. Just, you know, be confident about what you want and where you want to go and you'll get there. In Lynchburg, I'm Brooke Leonard, 10 Sports.